Where are we? Penn's Cave. <laughs> wow, is this gonna be cool or what? Yeah. Can we go sifting today with that? You know. We can find crystals. That's an insane markup on that. Holy smokes. I found, I saw that. I know. Look at that egg. Sissy, don't touch. Seven ninety-five. You know, mommy ha got you one just like this. They have four fifty-nine on it. You know how much I paid for yours? How? Thirty-five dollars. <laughs> what did you find, Andrew? Mm, just little animals. Mommy, They're owl! Cute. Owl! They are cute. You found an owl? owl. Yeah, there's little owls. Butterfly. Oh my goodness, a butterfly. Oh, pretty good. Kitty cat. Look at the bear. Where? Right there. Oh. <laughs> Moose. Yeah, cool. Okay, so we've got about a half hour to kill, so we've decided we're gonna sift for some gems and fossils. Right, sissy? I wanna, I wanna. When we come back, we'll go through the gift shop and you can get something, okay? I know, I know. So these are all the cool things we could possibly find in our pay dirt. I want to find that. You want to find a quartz? Yeah. You want to find that? Andrew's going to show you guys how it's done. Okay, now wait a minute. Okay. Now, take your sifter. Actually, now watch, okay? Mm -hmm. Take it. It's kind of like when we go for fossils at the creek. You can stick it in and just kind of let the water. I got it! Okay, hold on, hold on. I see lots of them. Whoa. Okay, now. Wow. Look at that. Yeah, no. All right, now There's take yours. One. Do the same thing. Gently in the water. Pick these out, pick the good ones out, and put them up here. There you go, gently. You don't want to splash it. Put it up here. What do you have? Looks like you've got a quartz crystals in there. You've got this green thing. Which one's mine? This one. This one's green. Can I do more? Can I do more? <laughs> well, you gotta pick your stuff out first. <laughs> what is this red stuff? Oh, can I see the chart? Um, yeah, I got it here. So when when you're done picking out all your stuff, put them in here. Was this stuff mine? Yes. All right, now, hold your baggie. Now let's just check all this real quick and make sure there's nothing like cool and small in the gravel. But oh, sometimes- like a little one right there. But sometimes you can find like a little piece, like this little piece of agate. Oh. It's kind of cool. <laughs> I want that. I want that. Here. It's really cool. Ooh, it's shiny. Okay, let's put it in the lot. Here we go. All right, Sissy, this one's yours. Put those in your bag. Now, you're gonna go sit at the table and we're gonna try to match up what you got. Okay. I'm gonna clean this up. Right. Yeah, so, this one right here. More clad tight. Oh, I got one. 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 Oh,
put me in the red chair. Just chill out. Okay. Ooh, there's a lot on this one. Hold on. <laughs> chill out. Wait. 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 Back up. Back up. Yoink. I want to go. That's a Moses or two. <laughs> I got a Moses sword teeth. Those are little shark teeth. Ooh, I got some shark teeth, some crinoid stems, some brachiopods, some coral. Dang, I dropped one. Ashton, Ashton. Just, you might want to put them in your bag Ashton. instead of grabbing a handful. Put them some here. amber. This is all my little hair. That little shark. That's cute. I got a Moses sword tooth. Look. Mm hmm. <laughs> this is the closest no, I've come to a Starbucks in four days. And I was kind of going through withdrawal, so I'm, I'm feeling good about this now. Starbucks. Hey, stop playing with the voodoo dolls. You're gonna hurt someone. Watch over voodoo. This is the opposite of bad voodoo dolls. These are good voodoo dolls. Mm. Who farted? Not oh, it. Man. Not it. <laughs> Not that. Yeah. I don't know. We're gonna find out. Are you excited? Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> if your fingers are down over the edge, you could pinch them. I've done it. It hurts. I don't want to see that happen to my guests today. Now, having said that, there's one place we give you permission to break that rule. While we're here at the dock and we're not inside the cave yet, if you'd like to feel how cold the water is, this is one place it's okay to put your fingers over the side of the boat. Watch water. out for those fish. Cave. 11 million gallons flows through the cave. Half a mile away, it exits and forms a lake. Lake Nittany. And we like to call some of the rocks imagination formations. Using your imagination makes it more fun. People say the road is still at tights. Looks like the wing of an eagle. Eagles win. In uh, this crack, there's a frog. <laughs> and a salamander. <laughs> the Capitol Dome, Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, or Washington, D.C. The Capitol. Out in Colorado, there's a place with a lot of rock formations called the Garden of the Gods. We have our own Garden of the Gods in the cave. Stalagmites growing up, stalactites growing down. It looks like a city on the hillside, or a city on the mountaintop. <laughs> well, there's another type of iron in a cave, in this hole in the ceiling. It's called iron pyrite, commonly known as fool's gold. Fool's gold up there. Looks like the hole is full of gold, but it's just the iron. <laughs> Looking at the garden of the gods, it's a great place to use your imagination. Little people all over the place up there. Lots and lots of little people. On the 
the corner to the right, perhaps, a bald eagle. And in the middle, a fisherman. Rain hat, rain coat, a beard, a sack of trout to his lap. And you can sit here for hours using your imagination. Mm. Water flows down the side of the rock and it deposits the calcium. Owl. Yes. Owl. A lion. Some people call it a mini lion. And a Buddha or a saint. Up there. It looks like a desert sunset. Sunset. Moonlight. First light of day. And if it should storm, you might imagine lightning down inside the cave. When the storm is done and the lightning is finished, there's a rainbow. They can lie down over there in the corner and the cool air blowing out of the cave blows over there so it's sort of like they've got air conditioning. <laughs> That's cool. They know they can catch the cool air coming out of the cave. Now, if you are interested in spelunking or caving, there's an organization called National Speleological Society. You can find them on the internet. Their website is caves.org, caves.org. You look them up and you find a branch of them near you, they'll take you spelunking and caving. Hey, Juliet. What? Do you have fun? Yeah. Yeah? Ashley, did you have fun? Water was dripping on me. Water was dripping on you? <laughs> what was your favorite part, Juliet? To go outside and see all the animals. <laughs> Your favorite part was to go outside the cave? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, goodness. All right, well, the wind is really, really bad, but we had a lot of fun at Penn's Cave today, didn't we, guys? We saw lots of stalactites and yeah, stalagmites. We and we got candy at the end of it all. Yeah, and do you know what I did? What? I, I go to a cave. Yeah, that's what we did today. It was very fun. We had fun. to ride a boat. I didn't like that. I just you didn't like the boat, but you liked the I, cave. I thought I was going to fall off, to but outside. I actually liked it. You had fun? I'm glad. I liked the outside part. Oh, you liked the outside part. Sissy wasn't really a fan of the cave part. She liked the outside part, but we had a lot of fun today. Uh, now we're going to get back on the road. We've got two hours left until we get home, but we had fun. It was a good adventure, a good family adventure, and we will see you guys later. Bye. 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 Bye